welcome to this week's Primed Insight. My name is Fred. I'm an inside sales account manager here at Blast One. This week's Primed Insight comes to us from a customer, Ankur Patel from Ferretti International, who asked a two-part question. Can you please explain the difference between SA 2.5 and SA 3? Also, when there's an argument between the contractor and inspector about surface cleanliness, how can it be resolved? Excellent questions, Encore. To answer the first question, we have a very detailed video which explores the four classes of blast as they appear on the four levels of rust. I highly recommend this video if you have any doubts about the differences between brush off, commercial, near white, and white metal. This video both explains and shows everything needed to make the distinctions clear. We've placed a link in the description below to help you access this video. The second part of the question is a bit more complicated. When a contractor and inspector disagree, the inspector hired for quality assurance has the final say. So here is their best advice with regard to avoiding or negotiating a disagreement with an inspector. Number one, it's always better to find out up front what the expectations of the inspector are. If the contract mandates a white metal class of blast, SA3 slash SSPC5, it would behoove you to mark out a three by three section of the project, blast it, and then get consensus with the inspector. Does your estimation of SA3 slash SSPC5 match with theirs? If not, it's best to find out why. Consensus before you blast will serve you better than after your team has blasted a full day only to have it rejected. Consensus before you blast can effectively eliminate any future disagreements with an inspector who has final say over your productivity. Number two, if a legitimate disagreement does happen after the fact, both parties should always argue from the agreed upon definition. The removal of all visible rust, mill scale, paint, and contaminants leaving the metal uniformly white or gray in appearance. If in disagreement, the blaster and inspector most likely find themselves disagreeing on the uniformity of the substrate's appearance. If it appears uniform to you, ask the inspector to show exactly where the inconsistency is. And if that's the only region they have an issue with. Visual uniformity can be a subjective matter, so always de-escalate tension as to not provoke an ego battle, you may have to brush off some areas to satisfy the inspector's sense of uniformity, but you will now know what is expected and you can adjust accordingly for the days to come. We hope you enjoyed this week's Primed Insight. Don't forget to subscribe below, and if you have any questions you'd like to answer, please ask in the YouTube comments or email at the Blast one We'll see you again next week.